Assalamu alaikum. So did you know that analyzing terrain can reveal hidden pattern in your landscape? Let's uncover the secret of elevation slope and aspect using QGIS. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to perform terrain analysis with QGIS, focusing on elevation dam data set. First of all, we will find the slope and then we will find only those areas in this hilly region of interest that having the slope mm, less than 15 degree. So we can do construction work over there or etc. So this is only for practice purpose and we will play with the slope and aspect output raster. And then we will find out the aspect of this region of interest and we will also find only those areas that facing toward the eastern side. We will find the areas of our interest in this region of interest. The same data set that I use in my recent tutorial in the basics of DEM data processing in QGIS and it's coordinate system is UTM 43 North and this is projected dam of this region of interest and this is the city of district of Batgram in Pakistan. So if you want to know that how can you download dam data without going to another website in this QGIS window for your region of interest and you want to know how, how to perform the basic analysis on a dam data set then you can click on top right corner. So first of all we will find the slope of this region of interest so for this Let's go to the raster and then in analysis, this is the slope tool. So make sure that your input will be your dam data set. And if you want to change the unit of your output slope raster data set, then you can convert into percent rise from over here by checking this out. And you can also assign an output location to your slope raster data set. And I will go with the temporary files. So just run this tool and close this one. So this is the slope of this region of interest. So I can go to its properties and uh, I can change the color and I can invert this color ramp. So the higher values can be easily visualized with red color. Just hit OK. So these reddish areas are actually representing the steepest zones of this region of interest. Now we will only find those region of interest that having the slope but less than 15 degree. So for this, let's open your raster calculator and add a parenthesis. You can write your expression over here. These are your bands that are available in your table of content or your layers. So I will just select my slope raster from over here and then give me, I will add this expression less than and I will C15 and close this parenthesis. So this expression is telling me that bring me only those pixels from this slope raster data set that having the pixel values in degree but less than 15. And after running this tool, the pixel values that will be true for our expression will be in 1 and all those areas that will be not fit for our expression they will be in uh, zero so let's give output location for your raster data set and i can say slope less than 15 and save this one and just run this tool so after running this tool i have another raster data set that name is slope less than 15. let's go to the properties of this raster data set and uh, in symbology select sim sim single band pseudo color and then decrease the classes to two so all those areas that are true for our expression are in one pixels and all those areas that are not true for our expression are in zero so i can invert this one and i can decrease the transparency of this first class so just transparent this and hit ok and hit ok ok of your slope layer and these are the areas like blue so these are the areas where the slope is less than 15. So now let's add a base map and uh, just place this base map right over here. 
and then we can also go to its properties and decrease its transparency to like 50 so we can easily visualize the settlements under this layer so let's zoom toward the layer and these are the areas where the slope is less than 15 degree so this is I think main city of Batram and major settlement of these region of interest fall under my this blue layer so you can see over here we can also visualize this in 3d view so let's open your 3d view and then we can go to its setting and then them and select your projected demo here you can increase the tile resolution for better visualization and uh, press 2 and hit ok Okay, so now let's zoom toward the area of interest and here now we will do a aspect analysis for this region of interest so let's open the raster window over here and then in analysis this is the aspect tool so make sure that your input will be your projected dem or your dem data set and uh, then hit ok and run you can also save the output location but i just save this for as a temporary layer so this is the aspect of this region of interest so aspect values always uh, range from 0 to 360 and these values are actually classified into, into these ranges so all negative values are actually the flat values and all those areas that are facing toward the eastern side are in 67.5 to 112.5 so we will find only those areas uh, only those areas that facing toward the eastern side so we can also adjust their ranges from over here from symbology we can select single band pseudo color and hit ok so this is the aspect of this region of interest okay so now we will find only those areas that are facing toward the eastern side and this is the eastern side so let's open your raster calculator and then add a parenthesis in your expression and select your aspect layer then these are the values this is the range of our eastern side so in between 67.5 to 1.15 so write expression that aspect value should be greater than or equal to should be greater than or equal to 67.5 and close your parenthesis and and also add another parenthesis and select your aspect layer and this must be less than 112.5 and close this parenthesis so you can also assign output layer so this side and save this one and hit ok so this is the raster output of recent expression and all those values that are true for our expression are in one color so I will again go to its properties and then select single band pseudo color and I can classify it into two and again I will invert this color ramp and I will make transparent my first class and hit ok so just close your uh, off your aspect layer and then if I will open my google satellite base map imagery and if I will open my 3d view and in this 3d view I can again go to its settings and then raster layer and then projected dem and tile resolution should be 200 and this must be 300 and I can also increase the vertical scale exaggeration just like this 
Okay, so let's zoom toward this layer. So this is our eastern side and this is the ridge of this mountain and these pixel values lies in the right side of this ridge line. So actually all these reddish areas are actually representing those areas, those terrains that are facing toward the eastern side and this is the eastern side. So we can also see them from over here. So these are the eastern side terrain. So this is only for practice purpose so you can understand that how can we play with pixels in our slope and aspect raster data set. So now we will find out only those areas of my interest that should be less than 15 degree and also facing toward the eastern side. So for this I will again open my raster calculator and I will just combine both those expression or here. So first of all I will add a parenthesis and then slope must slope raster must be less than 15 and close this parenthesis and again another parenthesis aspect raster must be okay must be greater than or equal to 67.5 i think so and just close this one and another parenthesis aspect must be less than or equal to 112.5 and close this parenthesis and you can assign output location so this is my interested area that I want to build my house on that areas that must be less than 15 degree in slope and facing toward the east side so just save this one and hit ok so this is the output raster of our expression so all those values that are true for our condition are in one color so I will again go into it. Uh, so I will again go to its symbology and in single band pseudo color I will decrease its classes to only two, and then I will invert this, and I can make the first one transparent, just like this. So these areas are actually those areas that having slope less than fifteen degree and facing toward the east side so for concept so for confirmation let's move your aspect and slope layer behind or under the base map and open your valuable value tool and just on your layers just like this and if i will hover my mouse into red pixel then you can see that the interested in interested layer the value is 1 so this one is actually that value that is true for our expression and then the aspect so aspect must be greater than 67.5 so in this aspect layer the value is greater than 67.5 and in slope over here is must less than 15 so I will if I will hover my mouse here then you can see that aspect it is 9 but slope is 13 degree and here the aspect is 16 but slope is 9 but interested condition was 0 so you can do a lot of analysis with this aspect and slope the raster data set so just close this one you can also change this pixels to polygons uh, so you can also find the areas of this region of interest so if you found this tutorial helpful then don't forget to like and subscribe this channel so many thanks take care Allah